Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The New York Times reported this on June 22nd of this year. Australia's record heat means another blow to Great Barrier Reef. For the third time in five years, abnormally warm water has caused a mass bleaching of coral, and some of it will not survive. Scientists say global warming is killing reefs worldwide. Record-breaking warm waters have bleached large parts of Australia's Great Barrier Reef this year, as they did in 2016 and 2017, scientists reported on Thursday. The latest sign that global warming threatens the health of one of the world's most important marine ecosystems. So according to the New York Times, Australia's Great Barrier Reef is dying and it's doomed. But there's a small problem with what the New York Times is saying. It isn't true. Coral cover in the Great Barrier Reef is actually at record high levels. There's more coral cover now than there was when records began in 1985. The next three graphs are the official data from the Australian government. Coral cover in the northern Great Barrier Reef was low a few years ago, but it's been increasing very rapidly and is higher now than it was in 1985. In the southern part of the reef, coral cover was low 10 years ago, but it's increased rapidly and is now about the same as it was in 1985. In the central part of the reef, coral cover has also increased a lot over the last decade and is much higher now than it was in 1985. As atmospheric carbon dioxide levels have increased over the past decade, the amount of coral in the central Great Barrier Reef has more than doubled. There's no correlation between atmospheric carbon dioxide and the amount of coral in the Great Barrier Reef. This shouldn't surprise anyone because corals are made up primarily of calcium carbonate. Corals depend on atmospheric carbon dioxide, which gets dissolved in the water for their growth and survival. Corals evolved around 540 million years ago during the greatest expansion of life on Earth. Atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were about 15 times higher than now, and Earth's temperature was about 15 degrees Celsius warmer than it is at present. Corals love warm water and lots of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The New York Times says, Scientists say global warming is killing reefs worldwide. If someone calling themselves a scientist has made that claim, then they're either incompetent or they're dishonest. Australia's leading expert on the Great Barrier Reef, Peter Ritt, has been saying for years that the reef is doing just fine. So when the New York Times makes claims like this, they're simply deceiving their readers. I went snorkeling two years ago in the Caribbean off the Yucatan coast. Some of the reefs there are in very bad shape, but there's no scientific reason to believe that it's either carbon dioxide or global warming causing the problem. Corals thrived on Earth at much higher levels of CO2 and much higher temperatures. There's lots of other factors which affect coral health, including pollution and overfishing. Abraham Maslow said, If the only tool you have is a hammer, you tend to see every problem as a nail. Many people calling themselves climate scientists have only one tool in their tool chest, and that's carbon dioxide. And that is a pretty small tool they're working with. If the New York Times was a legitimate newspaper, they would seek out other opinions like those from Peter Ritt in Australia. But they're not interested in other opinions because what they're doing is pushing an agenda, not reporting news. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on New York Times climate scamsters for 13 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.